Ooh, top tier game. Check out the Paradox podcast. I will, I, I will endeavour to do that. I will endeavour to remember. In fact, I'll bring that up on a page just now. Ooh. Wow, there are a lot of... Paradox podcasts, and by a lot, I mean three. But, you know, three's a lot, right? Business of video games, there we go, that'll be the one. Right. Uh, Daniel Goldberg and Shams Georgiani. I don't think I know either of those names, but... I do know a couple of their staff names. Also, I may have slightly oversteered while I was <laughs> tabbed out looking at other things. Whoopsie daisy. Can you tell that I'm a bit tired? It's been a long week. Indeed, Drocosaurus, it's just, this week has lasted at least, what, three months? <laughs> how everything feels at the moment but yeah right first victim potentially am I firing I am firing high explosive I must have been in a bottom tier game So you can tell it's been a while since I've played the Fuso. That was not nearly enough lead. What was that? Business and marketing, okay. Well, I suppose that would make sense if they were the ones talking about the um, actual business side of it. Let's see if I can maybe do something to that Minikaze. Old strategy from the <laughs> from the barter there, and by bold I mean uh, what was that? Oh hello, that's there, Fuso. Looking around the middle a bit. Oh, are you turning broadside? Oh, not quite. Oh, maybe. Oh, he's kind of teasing me now. Yeah, not not enough to make me hold that shot, but. 
It was uh, close enough. I'm kind of tempted to. Uh, this is possibly a really bad idea, but I'm kind of tempted to turn in for that Fuzo. It's fine. I've got the cooler camo, so therefore I will automatically win this fight. That's how it works, right? 100% that's how it works. Not really paying any attention to me so far. I might be able to get away with turning like away a bit here. It's a bit of a cheeky move, but he's, if he's going to ignore me like that, then I might as well take advantage. Still? Oh no, now he's noticed. <laughs> huh, my hit points seem to be disappearing for some reason. I wonder what's causing that. Oh, two overpants. Good chunk of his health, though. Trent on Bayern next, I guess. There's a caster some help. And the emerald. Definitely don't want to forget that guy's got torpedoes, of course. Nice. I guess the emerald is going to last forever. Well, sit down. Goes. Right, do I want to maybe turn back into the middle? Possibly? Yeah, we'll give that a go. My gun's turned around this way. Well, so far this isn't going too badly. We are down on points a bit, but... Hopefully we can rectify that soon. Uh, yeah, that wasn't enough, was it? I'm definitely rusty with this ship. Also tired. Also, I suck at video games. Those are my three excuses. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll maybe finish off with another Minnesota game. Would be nice to have a somewhat half decent game to make a highlight of. Although the chances of me producing said half decent game at this stage in the evening are probably not that high. I'd rather eat a bit of torpedo damage than potentially give broadside to a bio and trying to dodge these. Uh, it's actually individual for each ship, but it, it's... I. I think battleships do get better ranges just because they have, you know, great big conning towers. Destroyers don't really get to see so much over the horizon as battleships can. Well, not over the horizon, but you know what I mean. If you had, if you had a destroyer with Fuso superstructure on top, it probably wouldn't be the most seaworthy ship ever. Right, uh, go for the October Revolution, perhaps? <laughs> yeah! Oh, Citadel, nice. Probably an amusing Photoshop job in there somewhere. Alongside the many silly photoshops of Fuso with like <laughs> quadruple length superstructures or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think defending this cap's probably a bigger priority than going the other side. And also it would rather screw these cruisers if I ran away. Yeah, the Japanese space elevator. But it's just Fuzo with an even bigger pagoda. Just to speed a bit. Not that any of them hit anyway. Tips on avoiding aircraft damage. Uh, certainly sectoring your AA helps a lot. Um, depends on what you're facing though in terms of like torp bombers, dive bombers. Most dive bombers need to line up alongside your uh, along your long axis for example to, to be their most effective. So maneuvering to try and prevent that from happening is usually a good plan. Um, carriers can and will try and pin damage on you with um, like fires and things as well, so it's not necessarily a good idea to extinguish every fire or every flooding. Hey, Sprout! So, yeah, just generally awareness, maneuvering, and, uh, you know, an acceptance that you can't avoid every bit of damage. Although that acceptance is easier said than done if you're in, say, a uh, destroyer and there's rocket planes coming for you. Right, where is this Alba? If I were them, I'd be trying to maybe do some kind of torp ambush. Oh, yeah, there they are. Of course, he can't fire torps ahead. He has to give broadside. And quite a lot of it. 
We might be able to talk to Gujiani though. He's been paying attention. There we go. Grab this cap while we're here. One of the other big top tips is basically group up with friendly AA. Which once upon a time was a thing and now is kind of a thing again. It's not necessarily going to protect you against an individual strike, but it might discourage the so carrier from coming back again. Jedi. Really too bold! With the Twitch Prime sub, thank you very much. But there aren't that many ships these days that are individually very strong uh, AA ships. It's more about attrition. Wearing down the carrier's reserves. With the main difference compared to the old days being that... You can't deplane them totally, but you can kind of do it... Effectively speaking. You can run down their planes so much that um, they maybe only have, you know, like two planes in a squad left. Oh, if only I had a spotter available right now, I'd almost have shots on that Furious. Well, I would have shots on that Furious, but they'd have to be spotted. But seeing as how they're basically non-moving... Yeah, it depends on the carrier, and it depends heavily on how... Uh, cautious the carrier player is being and also the matchmaking as well I mean if you're minus two in a carrier that's that's a lot tougher environment in terms of preserving planes oh never mind we won all right I'm gonna get more water and then we'll have one last go in the Minnesota and then I think I'll call the stream there oh that wasn't even too bad damage wise I hadn't even realized Nothing spectacular, but a very solid Fuso game. 95k. Almost 1900 XP. Certainly take that. Two kills. Yeah, not too shabby. <laughs>